John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods uh, here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. Today, here in uh, towards the end of April, we've got some snow outside right now, but we're going to show you a nice car that you can eventually take out and cruise around in this spring and summertime. This is a 1969 Chevrolet Chevelle SS style vehicle right here. You can see a real nice looking blue exterior on this car with the white stripes up over the hood and the deck lid on this car. Um, it's got the steel SS hood on it with those vents or the grills back here at the back of it. Again, it's a nice looking hood for the car. All of the bright work on this car, the chrome front and rear bumpers, all your real lip moldings, all the moldings around all the windows and such are all in really good shape on this car. Nice and straight, polished up really well. They look really, really nice. As you can see on our Chevelle here, they've got the uh, kind of the more modern looking SS emblems here on the front fenders here. Uh, you've also got, like I said, those wheel lip moldings all the way around the car. Nice set of aftermarket wheels. Now these are um, Jegs polished aluminum five spoke style wheels here. They are 15 inch wheels. And as far as the tires go, we've got Cooper Cobra radial GTs on this. Now up front, we've got 23560 uh, R15s. And on the back, 25560 R15s. All of the tread of which on these tires are in great shape. As we work our way back along the car here to take a look at panel fitment and alignment, you can clearly see the gaps on the car here. Not too bad front to back, pretty uniform there. As far as your uh, gaps, your elevations, the elevations are really good on the car. Quarter panels and fenders line up with the door and all your body lines all match up well on the car. As far as other moldings, your drift rail moldings here, again you can see these are in real nice shape here. The rain gutter itself, as I always do, I always want to run my finger through there, make sure it's nice and smooth in there, and it is. Now this car does have both the driver and passenger side, chrome mirrors on it, chrome's in good shape, glass is in good shape as well, and the glass along the sides of the car here, your side windows and your rear quarter windows, those are all in nice shape, there's no chips or cracks on any of that. Again, all of your moldings, those all look real well. Even those door handles look really good. Now let's open up the door. We'll take a look inside. You're going to see that it's got the all black vinyl interior. Factory bucket seats in there with the headrest. We've got the seat belts there, looks like, in the front. It's got a center console in there with a set of cup holders in it as well. It's the factory dash. You can see the factory instrumentation there as well. Down below the dash, you do have three aftermarket gauges consisting of the water temperature, oil pressure, and voltmeter gauges. It does have an AM, FM radio, factory heater controls, a sport style steering wheel, and a tilt column on this car. It also has a Hurst Indy shifter there for the, uh, uh, the four speed uh, transmission that is in this car. Now the other thing is our weather stripping and our seals around the doors and windows here. All of that is in really good shape. There's no chunks ripped out of it, no rips or tears. Even your quarter window seals, the vertical seals, those are all in good shape. And the door shuts nice and easy also. So we'll come on back. The rear quarters are nice and straight on the car as well. As we get to the rear, rear of the car, as I said, we've got the chrome front and rear bumpers. Uh, the tail lights back here, the lenses are in great shape, the bezels around them, those are also in great shape too. I already mentioned the white stripes that travel all the way back from the front to the rear deck lid. You can see the rear glass, it is tinted and again in good shape too, no chips or cracks in that. The molding around the window is in great condition too. As you can see we've got the Chevelle script back here on the trunk lid. You've got SS427 badges um, on both this tail panel and you'll notice that on the front grill too when we get there. However, we're going to tell you that there's something different under the hood of this car. But again, these were the badging that was on the car. Um, now down below the rear bumper here you can see a nice set of chrome bolt on um, pretty big exhaust tips probably like a three, three and a half, maybe even a four inch exhaust tip, but they look really well on the car. And as you see the trunk lid here, as far as the fitment goes, the gaps aren't too bad on it, and the elevations are really good with the quarter panels. 
Let's go ahead and open our trunk lid up. First and foremost, you see that the key and the lock do work on the trunk. The underside of the trunk painted the same blue as the exterior of the car. Nice and shiny paint underneath here. You've got the jack instructions decal here. The hinges and the spring, as you can see, all doing what they're supposed to and holding that trunk lid up on their own. And as far as the trunk weather stripping and seal, that looks to be fairly new. There's no rips or tears. Nice and soft the whole way around and it meets together right here in the center. So sealing up should not be an option for this car. Now as far as the trunk itself goes, inside, got a real nice trunk mat here in the car. The trunk floor itself is solid as well. Um, so everything looks good back here in the trunk. We'll close this up. Shuts nice and easy. And we'll continue to the passenger side. Again, passenger quarter panels, nice and straight sail panels and roof all look good on the car too again we've already gone over the wheel lip moldings wheels and tires we get to our windows here now on the passenger side again same thing all in great shape no chips or cracks there the uh, uh, rain gutter moldings here those are in great shape and the rain gutter itself nice and smooth as we look down now at the passenger door at the gaps there You'll see again, pretty uniform with the gaps. Elevations are good with the fenders and quarters. And again, body lines all line up. Now we will go inside again here just to show you from the passenger side, the interior. You're gonna notice again, all of your upholstery looks really good. No rips or tears in the seat covers. The carpeting, no uh, fading, no rips or tears there either. Um, and in combination with the lap belts up front on this car, you do have a set of the shoulder harness belts that are tied up along the headliner of the car where they would have been originally. Um, again, seals and weather strips, uh, quarter window and around your door window glass, all in great shape. Close that side and that side closes just as easy. And we work our way around. You've got the matching uh, SS badging on the fenders there. And now we'll come up to the front of the car. So again, chrome front bumpers in great condition here. No pitting whatsoever on that. The hood fitment on this steel SS hood fits pretty well there. Again, gaps and elevations are really good on that too. As I mentioned, the grill inserts there at the uh, back side of the hood, those are in great shape, as well as that windshield. No chips or cracks in that windshield. So everything there is nicely done. As far as the front end here, just your typical 69 Chevelle front end here. Got your quad lights up front here, your lows and high beams, glass lenses, no chips or cracks on theirs. You've got your 69 grill. As I mentioned, we've got the SS427 badge here right in the center of the grill. And then down below, you've got your marker lights or your turn signals down there. So, as I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and talk about the motor, which is not what this badge says. So let's open this up. Okay, so starting with the underside of the hood, painted the same blue as the exterior of the car. You've got the hood insulation in here as it should be, and that all looks well. The engine compartment itself all blacked out as it should be. Now, as far as that motor goes, it is not a 427. Um, according to the numbers on the block and everything, it comes out that it is a 454 cubic inch big block Chevy. Nonetheless, it's a big block Chevy, it's just not the 427. Uh, we do have the Edelbrock Chrome air cleaner there. Got a set of uh, Chevy uh, valve covers that are chrome also. Underneath the air cleaner, we've got an Edelbrock 1406 single feed four barrel carburetor. We do have an a Edelbrock Victor Jr. aluminum intake on there as well. As far as the ignition system, it's been upgraded. Got HEI ignition on it with a set of Excel super stock eight millimeter plug wires. So with the carburetor and the intake, you're gonna get better fuel and air delivery. With the uh, upgraded ignition system, better ignition, better spark also. Um, now this car is power brakes and power steering. Now on this car we have disc brakes up front, drum brakes out on the rear, 
Again, like I said, power steering. As far as the radiator, you've got a stock style radiator. You notice you do have the shroud there too. That's going to help with cooling and a six blade aluminum fan as well. Down below here, as far as the exhaust to help it breathe a little bit better, we've got a set of long tube headers on it, dual exhaust with the crossover pipe underneath, and then it's got a set of dual Flowmaster mufflers on it also, which then exit out the rear of the car where I showed you with those nice chrome exhaust tips that are back there. So that's your engine. Behind the motor, we've got a Saginaw four-speed uh, manual transmission there. And then as far as the rear end, it is a GM 12-volt uh, posi unit in there with a 350 gear. So that is it for all around the outside of our car. We've been inside it now, in the trunk, under the hood. So next we're going to go ahead and get it on the lift for you, take a look at the underside of this car. And then finally, we'll fire it up and let you know or let you hear what that 454 big block Chevy sounds like with those Flowmaster mufflers. All right, so we are standing underneath our 1969 Chevrolet Chevelle here. So we're going to go through, as we always do, talk about the steering, suspension, um, drive line, frame floors, wheels, tires, all of that stuff here right now for you. So underneath the front end, as far as the front suspension goes, pretty much your stock suspension up front. You've got your stock cross member, uh, all of your stamped uh, upper and lower control arms on the car. You do have a front sway bar, uh, so that's going to help handling on this car. Sway bar bushings at the frame, as well as the sway bar end link bushings, those are all in good shape on this car. Steering, uh, it's a power steering car. All of our tie rods are good and straight. The ends on the tie rods, those are all in good shape too. All four, the little rubber dust boot covers are all intact all the way around. And again, that's going to tell you that it's been greased, maintained. That all holds that in and keeps dirt and debris out of it. Um, as far as the rest of the suspension, shocks and springs, pretty much just your stock setup here. And then as far as the brakes, we have power brakes on this car. It is disc brake up front, drum brakes out on the rear. And then I'll just basically go over the wheels and tires right now. We do have aftermarket wheels on it. They're 15 inch Jegs polished aluminum five spoke style wheels with the Jeg center caps. And then as far as tires, it's Cooper Cobra Radial GTs, 235.60 on the front and 255.60 R15s on the rear. Tread is all in really good condition on these tires. Now as far as the drive line goes, we'll start with the engine. This is not the original numbers match motor, but it is a 454 cubic inch big block Chevrolet engine. Behind that, we've got a Saginaw four-speed manual transmission, and yes, we do have the flywheel cover here um, so that it protects that flywheel from any dirt and debris getting in there and possibly chipping a tooth off of that flywheel. Uh, the next thing, um, oil pan and transmission both. Oil pan's nice and dry, leak-free around the whole thing. Transmission, that's nice and dry as well as I look underneath here. Your transmission cross member, that's in good shape. Doesn't look like it's been banged up on anything. The actual mount for the tail shaft, that's in good condition too. The seal at the back of the transmission, that all looks dry too on this car. Now as far as the drive shaft, this is a balanced drive shaft, so it's gonna eliminate a lot of your vibrations in that drive line. And then of course, the rear end here. This is a 12 volt quasi unit 350 gear ratio under inside this third member and you can see it's just your standard metric four link suspension it does have the sway bar on the back as well so again for handling purposes this car ought to do really really well with having that setup it also has your factory coil springs along with a set of coil spring shocks back here as well now as far as your fuel tank goes you can see this is in really good shape Fuel tank looks almost new underneath here, painted up black, just to kind of blend in with the rest of the car. Your mounting straps and all the hard work, that is in good shape. Now as far as the exhaust system on the car, we've got uh, long tube headers starting at the front here, dual exhaust with your crossover pipe here, a set of dual Flowmaster mufflers, and then, of course, you've got the tailpipes here that exit out the rear of the car right underneath the rear bumper with a nice set of really big 
I'm going to say probably like three or three and a half inch chrome bolt-on exhaust tips. They look really good out the back of the car. And then as far as the frame and the floors, of course, the Chevelle is a full-frame car. The frame on this car is nice and straight the whole way back. As you can see, all of your fuel lines and brake lines are run right along the edge of the frame here. Your floors, the floors look to be in great condition here. Just uh, looks like one little spot underneath here that was maybe patched, but it looks good. They seam sealed everything, put the correct metal in. Um, so you can see all the stamping marks on all of the floors. All of the support braces are here also. So again, everything is good and solid underneath here. Even back here at the trunk. Um, we do have the emergency brake all hooked up on this car too. So all of your cables from front to back, intermediates and so forth, those are all present and in working condition. Um, and I think that is probably about all for underneath the 69 Chevelle. So what we'll do next is we'll get this down off of our lift, go underneath the hood, fire up that big block Chevy motor and let you hear what that motor along with this exhaust sounds like. Thank <laughs> you.